Madeira has been called many things, the flower of the Atlantic, the protein garden and Atlantic pearl are some of them. And in this episode we will try to find out why as we explore the island. This beautiful place has so much to offer so we stayed a couple of weeks. This is Sailing Frida Visby cruising the northeast Atlantic islands. We are now arrived in Funza Madeira. We have quit our working life to see the world from our sailboat and we want to bring you with us. My name is Anders. I am Gita. And this is Litsa, the truly free spirit on board. Let's begin by checking out the marina in Funcha. The marina is right in the city center of Funcha, the main town in Madeira. So you have easy access to everything, shops, restaurants, car rentals, buses, etc. It's all right there. Uh, the marina is also quite uh, a lot of cruise ships and uh, they do create some swell when they turn around. But there is also a walking area and park next to the marina which keeps the traffic a bit away and you don't need to take many steps before you see those beautiful flowers. Let's go up and have a look from the air. I asked Anders for some drone footage over the harbor here in Funcha, but um, he took the opportunity to inspect the top of the mast from the drone instead. But now you can see the beautiful view and all those clouds that are rolling down the mountains, the 2000 meter high mountains, but they seldom reach the lower part of the town or the marina. Turn out my friend since long time was also visiting Madeira, so he took us out for a little tour. First stop on our way up the hill. We are about to visit one of the small traditional restaurants that are housed more or less in a normal house. So now we have a few tables. <laughs> Ja, det så. Bacalao. Bacalao is traditional salted cod. It was very tasty but incredibly salt. The white on the potatoes is also salt. Ja, det är nog bäst. Monte Palace Tropical Garden lays up here and it was opened to the public in 1991. 
and it has more than 100,000 different exotic species of plants and trees. But the road here is full of hairpin turns, as you can see. It might be the home field of Cristiano Ronaldo, who was born in Funchal. This viewpoint is located even higher up. In World War I, many seek the refugees in the village, and a monument was built dedicated to Our Lady of Peace, following a promise made by the Nigerians when the city of Funchal was attacked by German submarines in 1917. Apart from the statue, there is also a very nice view over the Bay of Funchal from this point, 876 meters above the sea. Funchal is famous for its blue jacaranda trees. Jacaranda originates from Central and South America, but has become essential to the Madarian landscape. Don't miss those wonderful trees if you are visiting Madeira in spring. You will see them near Funchal's cathedral as well as by the Golden Gate Hotel and other downtown places. Jacaranda trees can grow 8 to 15 meters tall and they bloom in April, beginning of May every year. So we arrive just at the right time to see them. Boat work! It's time to get our broken gear fixed. Are you checking, Alita? Ah, Is he doing a good job? Huh? I think I think he's drawing the cable. I'm not quite sure what he's doing. Och där där du kom så kunde han säga skruva loss. Då hade han ju lite mer av glaset där nere, så då har det gått lite plats att jobba på. That work? And now it's in neutral, which it couldn't be in the past. Yeah. yeah. And it works. Yeah. Super! The next valley is the Valley of Venus, which will be our next stop, but we need to go all the way back to Funchal to get there. This, those 
cloud forming up here is the source of for all the greenery on the island. These clouds contain enough moisture to provide the whole island with fresh water. Hello. We are now at the, the second highest peak here in Madeira. 1810 meters. Yeah, or as far as you can come with a car and just walk the last little bit. But we are way above the clouds, so it's really fascinating to be here and see. It was clear when we arrived, but now only a few minutes later the cloud is coming in so you can't see so much behind us. So that's the other direction. Magnus and Lotta and Gunilla are walking down below. Ja, men det är lätt att tappa orienteringen på. Vi har liksom kört runt så. Slinger och slinger, ja. Jag gissar att hon som ligger här nere någonstans. Ja. Men vilket tur vi har. Och den högsta piken, den borde ju vara där bakom molnen. Ja. Man can ana them little, little, little. Oh. I don't know the name of those flowers growing on the peak, but if you do, please tell us in the comments. We continue to the next up, the Valley of the Nuns. The main road is actually quite good and fast due to that they have built many channels and other infrastructure. This is the Valley of the Nuns. It is so beautiful. We have driven until we couldn't drive longer. Coral das Freiras, or the Valley of the Nuns, was given to the nuns of the Santa Clara Order in the 15th century. It's said that the nuns seek refuge here in this close valley when the island was invaded by pirates.
Yes. Yes, you are with on us. Oh, good. I'm in. Mean. There you are. <laughs> Goat meat with chestnuts. So it's goat and nuts from the valley. And Anders is having espada with banana. Banana and pomfrit, which is great. We visit the house of the nuns. This is the house of the nuns, which is museum today. The kitchen. And the little dining room. But the shoe was busy. Yeah, and that's interesting because uh, when I was a kid we had a triangular uh, chair with this kind of um, shape. And that was called a muck chair. Uh -huh. so, mm -hmm. so this is probably a nun chair. This is an exhibition about chestnuts. They even made flour out of chestnut and uh, store them in jars like this. Our tour continue. Next stop, Cabo Girao, one of the highest trips in the world, actually. Okay, so you have to you all The highest part of the cliff is 589 meters above sea level. I told you that I have a fear of height, especially when I can look down. So this is really a personal challenge for me. So I hope you enjoy this footage of the highest cliff in Europe and the second highest in the world. Those white dots you see in the sea is actually tourist catamarans. If you are really lucky, you can see whales in the water from here. It's a great way to experience Madeira is to rent a car, but uh, you have to have uh, your nerves of steel when you're driving because the roads are narrow and very, very steep. Yeah. And they drive quite fast. Yeah.
We got back to the marina just in time for the flower festival parade. Absolutely. And local I specialties. I love this type of flowers, but I normally have one or two in, yeah. in the window back home, not this many. This was a few glimpses of the almost an hour long parade. Back to the time for the parade. Yeah. Beautiful parade. Now we are tired after an eventful day and looking forward just to relax in the boat. Lisa. What are you doing? What are you doing, Lisa? You're in Boost Cat. The next episode we will continue to explore Madeira Island and, um, well, probably look at more flowers. If you liked the episode, please remember to give us the thumbs up, it always makes us happy. And um, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe and hit the little bell button to get notification when I release the next video.